Before we get into the games, we got news to break down, and let's get right into it because the state of California put the NCAA football world on its heels. That coming up on Wednesday. California State Senate voted Wednesday to pass the Fair Pay to Play Act, tally of 39 nothing. Now, that legislation not expected to go into effect until 2023 would make it illegal for California schools to take away an athlete's scholarship or eligibility for punishment for accepting endorsement money. So here's what that bill would say. It would allow athletes to profit from their own names, image, and likenesses, make it illegal for to take it away an athlete's scholarship or eligibility for profiting and make it illegal for California schools to follow the NCAA rules. All right, so the Board of Governors came out and says, all right, we need to talk about this as well. If the bill becomes a law, the NCAA says it would erase the critical distinction between college and pro athletes and because it gives those schools an unfair recruiting advantage would result in eventually being unable to compete in NCAA competitions. NCAA member schools already are working on changing rules for all student athletes to use their name, image, and likeness in accordance with our values, but not pay them to play. Acho, I saw you fired up on Twitter about it. Let's start with you. What do you think of this? Uh, it's about time that this rule is at least begun to take place in moving forward. The NCAA has for so long tried to hide and mask college athletes behind the fact that they're amateur. Well, there's nothing amateur about college athletes, so I feel like that rule needs to become void because that truly is the leg that the NCAA is trying to stand on. Furthermore, most college athletes are not going to go pro. So at least if you can have an opportunity to profit off your likeness by hosting camps, by selling jerseys, by selling shoes, whatever the case may be, because I don't think PB, what most people don't realize, College athletes aren't allowed to get a job. Yeah, in theory you are, but you're not allowed to get a job because one, you don't have time to work. And furthermore, they just, the coaches heavily discourage it. So that's really my stance. I love it, Acho, and I completely agree with you on all the points that you mentioned. I also want to take it a step further and not just think of football and basketball, the major sports in college football, but also swimming diving track athletes they're now allowed to or they would be allowed to use their name and say hey I am a professional swimmer or excuse me amateur swimmer in, in college but I can now give swimming lessons I can also give track lessons yeah. if I'm a track runner these are things that all athletes who are slightly entrepreneurs and can't get a job as you mentioned don't have enough time for it they can then go ahead and say look this is a way for me to make money it's awesome I love it I love it this is the first step in many steps for not only California, but for the rest of the nation. All right, I can't believe I'm doing this, but yep. I'm going to take the NCAA side on this, gentlemen. And from a different angle, right? Like, I believe the NCAA understands these athletes are going to eventually get an opportunity to use their name, likeness, and images to profit. That's going to happen, right? They've already put the working group together. But California comes in, they put this whole guidelines together. Now they're going to have it and just walk away. They're going to pass this rule and say, oh, by the way, you could do that and then walk away and not put forth the protocols and all the guidelines to do it. And then they allow a mess. I think what this has done is at least force the NCAA's hand to say, we're going to do this eventually. But pause. We don't want to be told how to do it, Acho. We will set the parameters and guidelines. That's the way it needs to be done, See, not by just states coming in and saying, oh, well, hey, listen, we'll just go ahead and, and do it yet right now. Oh, let's go worry about the next part of our government. Well, let's talk about it, PB. You know when you're standing on the diving board and you're afraid to jump in, and so you need your friend to come behind you and just give you that extra little shove? That's what's happening with the NCAA. Because leave it up to the NCAA, my guy Burns, they will never do it. You know what it is. The NCAA is not going to allow athletes to profit because it doesn't benefit them. And they're sure as heck not going to take money out their own pockets and give it to the athletes. So while I agree with you that the NCAA should be the driving factor and the driving force, they're not going to. They need that extra shove from the back to say, you know what, get off your tail, NCAA, and put something into action. Yeah, and I completely disagree with you, Peter, because I'm looking at it and saying, 
there's a conflict of interest for the NCAA. There's no reason for them to want to enact what they say they've been doing. They could have done this for the past 30 years if they really wanted to figure out a way to yeah. let athletes make money off of their name and likeness. They've been saying no, no, no for so long, and it finally took a state that had some sort of cojones to say, look, we are going to go and do this. You guys better step up. And if I'm Larry Scott and I'm the commissioner of the Pac-12, I am jumping all over this. This is the best recruiting that you can have for the Pac-12 to say, hey, player, you want to come over here? You can not only play football, basketball, whatever sport you're in, you can also make money. You can make money off of what you do. That is the best <laughs> recruiting. If I'm Larry Scott, I'm going to all the states in the West Coast, all of them in the Pac-12, and telling them to jump on board. By the way, this thing is not going to take forth, even if it goes that far over California till 2023. The NCAA realizes pigs get fat and hogs get slaughtered. They're going to fix that, which means we get NCAA football back for video games, which is great. We're so glad you're watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports and analysis, download the ESPN app. And for live streaming sports and premium content, make sure you subscribe to ESPN+. Plus. We'll see you there.